how to put your thing link, your image of yourself, on your About Me page. So log in to your WordPress site. For example, just to review, mine is, this is kind of my demo site, ded318.info, but you'll notice I have wp-admin. After that, all of you will have that little piece after your domain name. That's where you get to this, the dashboard, to work on your site. Now, if you're giving your URL to someone else to look at, you just give them the first part, everything before the WP Admin. WP Admin is only used by you to work on your site. So, when you get into your dashboard, all of your tools are along the left. Where we want to go right now is to Pages and click All Pages. It will take you over, and I probably have some other things in here because I use this for demonstration purposes. You'll see an About Me page or an About page. Depending on your template, it might have a slightly different name, but it's all the same thing. Click Edit and it'll open up and I've already typed mine in here but you should type a small little bio about yourself tell people that you're a pre-service teacher in the College of Education at Kansas State University tell what your major area of concentration is maybe tell what your philosophy of teaching is but a little bit a few sentences couple paragraphs at most anything that refers to to a place we could go visit. For example, you'll notice I have a live link to Kansas State University. I also have another live link to the College of Education. And I'm adding a link to my website because I have another website in addition to this blog. So I'm going to click the little chain and you should already know how to do this. You learned last week. But I'll show you again. You paste it. You click the little chain. You paste in the URL. Make sure it's got the HTTP but make sure it doesn't have two of those. Click open link in new window, add link. So now that's a live link. So now what we want to do is add our thing link picture and I would add it to the bottom after your text because these pictures come in kind of big. So I have my thing link open here already so you don't need to watch me go there and once I click on it you'll notice I have all my little points that take me to all the different things. You see this example on week one over to the right is a share button. Now if I need to edit it, there's the edit button. But I'm going to click the share button and I'm going to get some embed code. I'm going to copy that code to the clipboard. Then I'm going to close that window, get this out of my way, go back to my page. And you'll notice up here at the top I have two tabs, visual and text. Click over on text. Scroll down to the bottom of your last piece of text there, and there's usually a couple, I hit the space bar, and that's what that NBSP stands for. It's kind of irrelevant, but I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to paste my text in. Okay, and it's a bunch of gobbledygook. Doesn't mean a whole lot. Click back on the visual tab, and your picture should show up. Depending on your website template, it might show up as a yellow box. If it's a yellow box, that means the picture is going to show up when you hit the publish or update button on the right. And to prove that to you, I'm going to click on that, turn it on, go back over and check my site and see if it's really on my update page. So there's my text, there's my live links, and there's my pictures. Now you'll notice right here that this actually works. If for some reason on yours it doesn't work, there's a plugin that you have to turn on. And I'll show you where that's at. Go to plugins on the left, and you want to find one for ThingLink. And if you can't find it in the list, type um, add new. Type thing link, say search plugins, and it'll go find one. And mine's already installed, but yours will say install and just install it. Then restart your browser, and your thing link should work. That's all there is to doing this. Good luck.